by Lisa and right here in the middle. And then we're joined now by Tom Eddy, the chairman of the Erie County Republican Committee. Tom, I have to ask you, first of all, where were you when the shooting took place? Were you watching it live? I was at home watching live and like most people, shocked, you know, didn't expect anything like this to happen again in this country. Mm -hmm. You've been to a lot of Trump <clears throat> rallies. There's usually a very large crowd. I mean, you're often there. How did you happen to not go to this one? Well, I'd been in D.C. two weeks ago, and I saw Trump in D.C. with you know, a small group, and I'm headed out tomorrow to the convention, so I thought I might better stay home today. <laughs> so you are leaving tomorrow for Milwaukee. How do you think this changes the mood when you get there, and what, what, what do you expect it to be like? You know, I, I really think, obviously, people will be thankful that nothing serious happened to Donald Trump. Obviously, our prayer should be for the people, the young person or the man that was killed, as well as the other two critically injured individuals. We should be praying for them and their families. And, uh, but for Donald Trump, we should be, again, thankful, because if he had turned his head just a few inches the other way, mm -hmm. uh, it could have really destroyed this country in terms of creating such a unique situation where we've got one president where his party is kind of unsure what to go with him, and then all of a sudden you have another open convention. But I think with regard to the convention with Donald Trump, there's going to be so much unity because mm -hmm. of the fact that everybody is happy, first of all, that he survived and second of all, that he's going to be the nominee of that committee or of that convention. You're leading the Republican Party here locally at a time when we have a divide like we have never seen before, but did you think it would come to something like this? No, but, I, but it's something that could be expected uh, only because of the, for seven years, Donald Trump has been vilified by the other side. He's been called everything from Hitler to Mussolini and so forth. And, my wife and I have actually talked about this, that sooner or later there's going to be somebody out there that thinks that this guy's so bad that we've got to take him out. And I think what I personally would like to see is forget the personalities and go after issues and policies. And let's talk about the differences that we feel with regard to how we want to lead the country. And we may disagree on those, but then again, it's not going after somebody personally to make him look like he's a villain. Tom, final question from, we, from me. You know the former president loves the crowds, the energy. He, he really enjoys those atmospheres. So when he eventually recovers, do you see him back out making public appearances like this? Do you think uh, I think Donald Trump is Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. And this is where he feels comfortable in front of the people and close to the people. And he's just going to go back out there and continue these rallies like he's done for seven years. Mm -hmm. Well, Tom, thanks for being with us on what is just a, a stunning night for us in the news, Mrs. I'm sure for those of you in the Republican Party, as you uh, look ahead to, to next week, we don't even know who the running mate might be. Uh, as you said, both campaigns in somewhat of a different kind of turmoil at this point in time. Again, thank you for being uh, with us at this hour. It. Thank you.